Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks Online and creating a contractor slash customer as in one of our previous videos we looked at turning on this CIS module. Um, so today it's going to be very simple, we're also going to do invoicing as well to the contractor. So first of all you want to go to sales, then customers. And here you'll have all your customers with all the detail that you've put into the system and also any outstanding balances and any currencies that you may have activated. You want to click on new customer, start typing in the contact name. So today we use Mr. Alan Smith um, and he has a business called ABC Construction. Um, so we put the, obviously the company name in there as well. You also want to put in there as much detail as possible. So today we're going to be putting in the email address. Um, we're also going to be putting in the phone number, the mobile number and the address. Um, this is so you can keep your records up to date. Because a lot of people try to get away with just putting in the basic information. And when they need to find this information, they don't seem to have it. And it's better to have it in one place inside your bookkeeping software because that's where you're going to spend most of your time with reference to dealing with these clients, to dealing with their payments, dealing with their invoices. So we're just finishing off entering the address here. Uh, that is actually our address, so don't try and look it up. And now we get to the main point, which is there's a little option that says, is a CIS contractor. Now this is the, the fact that they deduct you CIS. So then you click save once you've enabled it. You'll then be brought to the client's record itself and as you can see there's no transactions in here because it's a, a new client. So what we want to do is go to a new transaction, invoice, and you can see here it's pre-populated with everything that's needed that you'd have already set up before, so the terms, the invoice number. But the most important thing is automatically selected the standard 20% deduction. You can change that to 30 or gross, but today we're going to leave it at 20. So we've put in five days worth of labour. We've also put the rate of £1,000. And as you can see on the right hand side, it's automatically deducted the CIS. So if you're not VAT registered, that's how much balance you would be due of £800 after deduction. But today we're going to show um, adding VAT on as well, which shows how the system works out the various deductions and additions. So you can see here it's a subtotal 20%, £200, and then the minus the CIS amount, which leaves the balance. You normally hit save and send, but today we're just hitting save and close. And as you can see, then under the client's record, you've got a brand new invoice, which shows the balance that's due, the amount before VAT, and the VAT amount. So this is taking into account everything that you need to do. You don't need to do any additional uh, transactions to it unlike some other software like SageLine 50 the module is not that great with CIS for sales so now we're going to go back to the dashboard you've completed doing an invoice and creating a contractor so thanks for watching if you have any suggestions about any features you want us to cover then please leave a comment below if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up also don't forget the subscribe button as you don't want to miss out on any further hints and tips videos from less tax to pay Bye for now.